Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. On today's video, the story of the most infamous bank robber in Ireland and the kingpin of what came to be known as the Hutch Gang, Jerry Hutch, later known as the Monk. Jerry Hutch was born in Dublin, Ireland in 1963, the youngest of eight siblings, spending his early years living in the inner city of Dublin. He came from a poor background and said there was nothing around when he was a child. His father, who went by the name of Masha Hutch, worked on the docks while his mother, Julia, took care of the large family. In 1971, when Jerry was around eight years old, the Hutch family moved to Summerhill. In his early teenage years, he began to fall into a life of crime. He became the leader of a renowned teenage gang called the Bugsy Malones, who would rob banks by jumping the counters to steal the money. Hutch was sentenced to prison at the age of just 15, being released at the age of 16. He gave an interview on RTE Radio, where he stated that he wouldn't give up on his life of robbery and theft. Hutch was sentenced to detention 11 times in his teenage years, spending time in industrial schools before eventually ending up in Mountjoy Prison. His last term in prison will come at the age of 20, when he's imprisoned for two years for malicious damage. It seems like the education and connection Hutch obtained in prison would come into use after he became involved in a well-known gang upon his release. The gang was suspected to have amassed a fortune of £40 million from a series of bank robberies, jewellery heists and fraud scams spanning over eight years. Hutch has also been awarded money from legal actions in Irish courts. These include £8,500 won from Secure Court in Ireland in June 1995, £2,000 from the Sunday Tribune newspaper in a libel action and around £26,000 won in legal actions against the Irish government. Despite the several investigations and arrests, he was not prosecuted for the alleged crimes he committed. After his release from prison, he began to become known as the Monk, after a reporter named Veronica Gurin christened him with the name, due to the fact that he had adopted a very disciplined lifestyle since his release from prison. In 1996, the same reporter was shot and killed in Newlands Cross, on the outskirts of Dublin, when two men on a motorcycle approached a car and shot her six times, due to her reporting of drug lords in Ireland. Jerry Hutch was suspected to be involved with the murder, with the motive being her negative reporting of him. The event caused outrage across the country and helped to further solidify the Hutch name on an international scale. It was clear that Jerry Hutch had amassed a huge wealth in the years after being released from prison, however, which he still claims is largely from property deals and not from crime. In 1998, he was a founding member of the Corinthians Boxing Club in Dublin and has served as treasurer for the club. The club has a full gym and boxing ring with the latter being donated by the film director Jim Sheridan after making the film The Boxer. In 1999, Hutch found himself in court being investigated by the Criminal Assets Bureau, or CAB, the Irish state's anti-money laundering agency. Detective Chief Superintendent Felix McKenna stated that Hutch had been involved in the £1.7 million robbery of an armoured van in Merino Mar in January 1987 and £3 million armed robbery of a Brinks Allied Security Depot in County Dublin in 1995, which had been the largest cash robbery in the state at the time. Hutch eventually reached a £1.2 million settlement with CAV to cover back taxes and interest for a nine-year period, which indicates the scale of wealth that Hutch had obtained. He decided in 2001 to become a taxi driver, with his licence being granted after a legal battle to halt the issuing of the licence. He would later start a company by the name of CAV, or carry any body, in a humorous nod to the Criminal Assets Bureau. Hutch to this day claims that he has been a legitimate businessman since his release from prison at the age of 22, undertaking various different business ventures and being involved in the property market. It is speculated, however, that Hutch is the opposite, and in fact the leader of the Hutch Gang, which is known to include a large number of Hutch family members in high-ranking positions. If it wasn't clear already, it became very clear that the Hutch family were involved in serious crime in 2015, in what would spark a feud that has reportedly continued to this day. On the 24th of September 2015, Gary Hutch, who was the nephew of Jerry Hutch, and a prominent figure in the criminal underworld in his own right, was murdered after being chased by a gunman wearing a balaclava, who shot him dead in an apartment complex near Marbella in Spain. The hit was believed to have been ordered by members of the Kinahan cartel, and birth the bloody war between the Hutch Gang and Kinahan Cartel, supposedly linked to at least up to 17 murders to date. Since the murder of his brother Eddie, who was reportedly an innocent bystander at a boxing weigh-in in Dublin, and a father of five, it would appear that the monk realised the danger he was in, 
and has since not been seen in public. Reported in Dublin Live, they suggested that Hutch had become a gangland ghost and that he had vanished off the face of the earth alongside one of the Kinnahans or the top targets, the Hutch mob's most feared hitman. In April 2021, a European arrest warrant was issued for him as Irish police said they had enough evidence to charge him with murder in connection with the shooting of David Byrne. The warrant was issued after the Director of Public Prosecutions moved that he be charged with murder and tried before the Special Criminal Court. He is also likely to face other charges such as attempted murder and possession of firearms. He is reportedly now moving between Spain, Belgium, Holland and Turkey and is officially a wanted man. Irish police from the Ballymun station were investigating the Daring Regency Boxing Way in attack completed their file on Hutch later that year, sending it to the DPP with a request that he be charged with murder. Up to now, he has not been apprehended and remains a free man. This concludes the story of Jerry the Monk Hutch. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section below.